Wednesday here in Chicago. And in the studio live today, we have the band Hoops. Audio Tree Live with Hoops in the studio today. Welcome, guys. How are you? Pretty good. Thanks for having us. Of course. So uh, when we were talking about some things that we wanted to chat about, um, one of the things that caught my eye, I had no idea what it was, was Steve Leachman. Steve Leachman. Oh, Leachman? Leachman? Okay, I'm not joking. <laughs> so I don't, I'm not a big comic reader. I haven't read a lot of Neither comic books, we. not going to lie. But who found this comic? And if you could, how would you describe it to viewers? Uh, I found the comic online... It was like a Kickstarter campaign that I just saw somewhere and read. They, they were sharing the first like 60 pages of it, and I thought it was really great. And so I donated to the Kickstarter and got a copy like six months later and then brought it on tour last time we were out, and we all just sort of read through all of it, each of us like at our own time. And it's just funny. It's a good one. Yeah, Look out for like it. A, it's like South Park kind of humor, I guess, but yeah. in the context of like a dungeon. Yeah, like Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> yeah. sort of characters and setting. Yeah, I feel like it's like modern day conversation put on yeah. like monsters, exactly. basically. Yeah, and you, I feel like I feel for Steve. I feel for Steve yeah, and in his should. dungeon. As do I. But I, I really was honestly surprised when I looked it up. But how how long is this comic, or how big uh, is it? I guess it's like a hundred or so pages. You all oh. read it could like be really wrong. quickly. Yeah. yeah, it's like so easy to just like sit and yeah, you can just. I mean, fly through it, the it looks like it. like a tome. Like it comes yeah. in like a yeah. hardback book with like a really nice like gold sort of yeah. design on the front. And it doesn't look like a comic book, but... It is. Yeah. It is a it comic is. book. That's crazy. Because I guess their Kickstarter did pretty good then. Yeah. Like, with yeah, their sure. amount of money they raised yeah. with it. Because yeah. I feel like that's a lot of mm -hmm. fancy things yeah. on I that book. We, like, we figured out about it, and then when you got it in the mail, it's like we almost forgot that it existed. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's I was so such excited. a great surprise. My roommate, <laughs> my roommate got one as well and texted me a picture of it and said, like, they came. And <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to get the part two of it then? Oh, big time. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks for introducing that to me, honestly, because I had no idea what it was. I was like, what the hell is this? But it was absolutely hysterical. As soon as he started cursing, I was into it. <laughs> so, well, you guys are more than welcome. Go into your next song whenever you're ready. Uh, this one's called uh, For You.
with that ending. Super abrupt. So if you're just tuning in, we were watching Audio Tree Live with Hoops. So uh, getting a little bit more, I guess, in depth with the music talking here. Switching from comics. Um, I feel like when a genre or a band kind of has like a pop name or a label to it, um, sometimes lyrics can get a bad rep as like being secondary or kind of just there to be catchy. What is your take on adding lyrics to a song and what is your process of making question. lyrics? I know, right? I think it's like different for every single one of us. I know yeah. for me at least they always come last and even like after like a vocal melody, like I'll just sing random words and then once I have like a vocal melody I like, then I'll write actual words. Oh. In, in yeah. the past, it's always been pretty secondary. Yeah. Okay. And I think, like, lately we've been trying to put some more thought to it and, like, yeah. you know, actually... I mean, all of us in our own, our songwriters, like, we all have our own projects outside of hoops, like, if it's, like, a solo thing or another band. And we all have our own processes. And then when we all come together to do this thing, like, we try to adapt to one another. So, like, I guess for hoops specifically, like, it's more sound centralized than it is mm. like lyrics but i don't know like for me personally when i write songs it usually becomes it's like a batch of lyrics that i put with a piece of music so i don't know yeah it's just different for each of us yeah. so that's really interesting though so with hoops you guys all kind of collaborate with the lyric process then uh, not the lyrics specifically yeah. yeah okay yeah we kind of just give whoever's like writing the song or sort of taking the reins on that kind of just gives them authority to just do whatever they want for the okay. most part and then, you know, we figure out harmonies or whatever we want to do with it when we come together and do it. But for the most part, like, whoever's bringing a, a song to the table, they kind of have, like, a good amount of control over, like, what they want it to be hmm. and what they want the whole thing to end up being. Interesting. Do you feel, do you guys feel like your surroundings make a difference on your lyric choices at all? Like, where you grew up or where you're currently writing that music? Um. It's, it's I don't know. To, it's, it's hard, hard to say. To say. Yeah. We're all from, inevitably, like... I would say inevitably. Yeah. It's always yeah. going to have an effect. Um, but I wouldn't say too much. I yeah. mean, sometimes it's just, like, fun to write a song for the yeah. sake of just writing a song. Right. Yeah. Like, have you guys ever thought of, I guess, like, going and moving somewhere, like, as a band or stationing yourselves out of somewhere different? I know now that you said, you know, you have different projects going on. Yeah. It's if a little bit so, different that way. If so, it's definitely not out of, like, an artistic, like, mm. search or, yeah. like, endeavor yeah. that we're trying to pursue or anything like that. Cool. I think you can write music anywhere. Yeah. Any no, sort of totally music agree. Anywhere, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Awesome. Well, guys, whenever you're ready, keep it going. This song is called Let's Go. Watching Audio Tree Live with Hoops. I'm really digging all these endings, by the way. Like, it's cool to hear them, but then to hear them live, they're very, like, it's like a giant <laughs> period. It's, I'm into it. Um, so sticking with the super serious route, um, I want to talk to you guys about playing pool. 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, so I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to brag. I'm a very mean pool player. So uh, who is the champ? Keegan or Kevin? Keegan or Kevin right now. Really? I'd have to say Kevin's the reigning champ as of today. (laughs) As of today. It's not going to stay like that, though. Keegan beat me two out of three last night. Yeah, it was was probably the most serious moment of this whole trip. Like, we played, like, three games or something, and we ended up having, like, a really long, like, kind of deep conversation, but little did Jack know that I was hustling him the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) And when it came down to the wire, the... The better man won. Oh. He got me talking, then he just <laughs> pulled one over on me. Roasted Sounds like yeah. I'm fighting words. <laughs> so, um, with, is pool something that you guys have always just kind of like played together, or is it just something? It didn't start that... until tour. Really, yeah. tour. we just yeah. started like finding pool tables at bars that we would either play at That's or be awesome. close to, and just like. Where'd you guys play last time? night? Uh, it was actually a couple nights ago, it was Sunday at the Empty Bottle. Oh, dope! That's awesome. Yeah, and they do have a pool table. I did one game there, I think. But yeah, a lot of the places we played on the last few tours have like had pool tables or there's been a pool table yeah. nearby. So it, it was really just something we did. Do you guys ever have crazy bets like to place? Not yet. That's a We're good idea. Enough. I think you guys should. That's, that's where it gets fun, yeah. like when you kind of start adding that in. Well, none of us really have the money yeah, to throw down on that. It doesn't but, have like, to be like, money. Yeah. It could be something like, you know. If we're betting like favors. Next show, you have to wear like, this. You buy my next burger, like something yeah. like that. Load out the keyboard at the next show. <laughs> <laughs> the really fancy high-end keyboard. Um, so basically, another question that might be kind of weird along those lines. Do you guys all shoot with your dominant hand? I do. Uh, or does anybody shoot with their opposite hand? No. Does that sound weird? Oh, wait, I'm not sure. Because I'm right. left-handed and I, I shoot. That's left-handed. Shoot left-handed. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. So I'm right-handed, but I shoot left-handed. Weird. So apparently pool, though, is one of the most like ambidextrous sports that is there. So it ha- doesn't necessarily have to do with your leading hand. Yeah. So Maybe I was wondering I if anybody try was that. like. Yeah. That might be a nice competitive I don't know. Edge. You're in the lead right oh, now. I would keep it. I would keep <laughs> your crown for a while. So. That's awesome. I feel like that's a cool thing to kind of keep throughout your guys' tour and like upcoming shows is always find a bar <laughs> with a pool table. Yeah, and one that doesn't charge too much. Sometimes they charge a lot. Yeah, which that's is true. really annoying. But anyways. It's worth it. <laughs> well, cool. Well, we'll see maybe next time you guys who's in the lead next time. So right now we got the crown over here, but we'll see. Well, when you guys are ready, just hop into the next song. Hang on, sick. Take your time. Uh, we, we did a song earlier called For You, and this is part two of that song. It's called For You, part two. Is true. Give it to me.
watching Audio Tree live right now with Hoops in the studio. I like all the moments of like the little laugh and like the little noises at the end of each one. You know, you're like, and we're good. Um, you guys are doing absolutely awesome. I hope you guys are having some fun. Oh, yeah. I'm having fun. Great. That's I'm having awesome. a good time. Good. Okay. We're, I'm glad we're all on the same page here. So uh, you guys also have been doing some pretty exciting things. Um, I know that you guys just opened for Whitney recently, right? And then uh, I think you just opened for Porches here in Chicago, correct? Yep. Correct. Awesome. How were those experiences? Super uh, fun. Touring with Whitney was a lot of fun. Yeah. Pretty solid dudes. Really mm. great live band. And the record rocks, as I'm sure many people know. Yeah. They're super awesome. So with that, I know that you guys have an EP coming out in August. August. Yep. Yep. That's correct. So with that, do you guys plan on releasing anything new, like a new music video at all with that? Or is there anything coming up? Perhaps. Perhaps. We have some footage that we took on tour. Oh, cool. Uh, I haven't had time to review it yet. Mm. Uh, but if it looks fun and exciting, we might put it into a music video. But if it's not awesome. Not usable. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, it, it, there's no, no, nothing like big production type stuff slated yeah. for the moment. But if we uh, get into it and decide that it's like it would be passable <laughs> to put yeah. out there, then... Well, I always think those like behind the scenes things too are like what fans <clears throat> and people who follow like kind of want to see. Yeah. You know, like the everyday life, they're like, what's Good going fan on? Service. We're all about that. <laughs> so, like, how do you feel about music videos in general? It's not, is it something that you've been like really wanting to do? It's like, oh, we got to do one, or is it something that, you know? I think we're all pretty apprehensive about like. Not your thing. We definitely, I think we all want to do one. But, I think they're you know, awesome. They're especially great. like when they have like a cool concept yeah. and mm -hmm. executed really well. But mm -hmm. a lot they can really make or break videos. a song, really. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it make or breaks the song, <laughs> sure. but yeah, if it's like done in a way that serves the effect of the song, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, as opposed to just being like a video component of it. Just like a random mm -hmm. thing with the yeah. song, yeah. you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I like the way Grimes does music videos. Mm -hmm. I think all of her, like, newer ones have been so cool, and they definitely, like, accompany the vibe of her newest record. Yeah. And she's just awesome. Too. Yeah. They totally amplify, like, what the song is getting at. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, interesting. So that's something you'd like to put on your plate maybe in the coming future? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Perhaps, yeah. Down the road maybe. Like, But I think for now like, it could just be more awesome to just focus on writing songs. Totally, totally. Yeah. Cool. Well, speaking of that, so you guys do have your one single out that you've yeah. already played in the beginning. Cool oh, yeah. too, correct? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Awesome. So, well, you can check that out and then make sure you look at the EP coming up in August. Before that, you guys can go ahead and go into your last song. Cool. This one is called La La La, and it is from the second tape that we put out back in October of last year. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. 
Thanks for having us. Of course. Good to be here. This has been Audio Tree Live with Hoops. Um, you can support the band by downloading this session when it comes out in a couple weeks. We just want to say thank you to our videographers, um, everybody in the studio, our awesome sound engineers, the band, of course, and, of course, you viewers. So have a kick-ass day, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Thank Bye. you for having us. You're welcome. Bye. Take it easy. If anyone wants to play pool, we'll be at the empty bottle.